Welcome to Bootspy. My name's William, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing Saphir Renovator. This is one of the most well-known, well-respected leather conditioners for boots. I have five different types of leather on different types of boots, and I've treated one boot each, so we can kind of look at the before and afters, so you can decide whether or not Saphir Renovator is right for you. Let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. Both things are super helpful for the channel and I really appreciate it. Like I said today, we are reviewing Saphir Renovator. Now, there's no doubt you've heard of Saphir. They do boot polishes, all kinds of different leather conditioners. They have some weatherproofing agents. They're just a huge name in the boot care industry. So we're looking at one of their most famous products. Um, and it's also, it's also pretty pricey, pretty expensive. It's Saphir Renovator, and this is a leather conditioner that's based with mink oil. Saphir Renovator has a lot of competition from the likes of like Venetian shoe cream and other cream-based, um, you know, leather conditioners. Really, the purpose of this isn't to weatherproof. It's not really to uh, seal out any sort of rain or anything like that. It does help because this has mink oil, but really the main purpose of Saphir Renovator is to treat the leather, keep it from cracking, uh, keep it packed with oils and waxes so that it stays supple and your leather lasts a long time. A lot of people consider Saphir Renovator the go-to for higher ticket leather items. So if you have a boot that is you know, $500 or $600 or dress shoes, sometimes belts, sometimes bags, anything that is really, really high quality and you want to last a long time, people will reach for Saphir. I wanted to give Saphir a fair shake, a fair try, so I tested it out on five different types of leather to kind of cover the gamut and really cover any type of boot that you might have. So we have a Horwing Chrome Excel, we have uh, Red Wings SB Foot Tanning Company. This is an oil tan leather. Uh, we also have a vegetable tan full grain leather here. This is a black calfskin leather. This is just a really cheap pair of leather boots. I wouldn't use Saphir on a cheap pair of leather boots because it's about this costs about a quarter of the price of this, but wanted to give you uh, uh, you know an idea of what it looks like on a wide variety of leather quality. I'm gonna start off by talking about Horween Chrome Excel. This is the Wolverine Thousand Mile. Uh, Horween Chrome Excel. It's a really popular leather in a lot of boots between $300 and $500. So you're gonna see it quite often. So this covers a pretty wide range. And then also anything from Thursday Boot Company, uh, they also use anything with their Thursday chrome leather. It's pretty similar makeup. So it's while it's not the same, it's quite, quite similar. So this also goes for any Thursday boots as well. But as you can see with the Horwin Chrome XL, and honestly, there isn't too big of a difference. Now, it retains a lot of that shine that Horween Chrome XL is known for. And so it really, the Sphere Renovator really helped embellish some of the natural qualities of Horween Chrome XL. It looks like it left the color pretty much exactly the same and it took some of the scuffs out of the toe and along the side out and it did a really effective job at basically making this boot look pretty much as good as new. Now there are some things, you know, that you can't quite repair and it's not gonna, you know, Saphir Renovator isn't a miracle worker. It's not gonna fix any deep gouges or anything like that, but it did really help kind of restore it back to new. And it also, you could just tell like, especially along these seams right here that it, it added a lot of wax on there and that's gonna help a lot in terms of just building that beautiful patina, not taking it away and just adding to it so that over the years, this thousand mile boot starts to look fantastic. The next boot I tried it out on was the Red Wing Iron Ranger. And you can see there's a much bigger difference here. And really the SP Foot Tanning Company full grain oil tanned leather from Red Wing. It's a lot more matte than Horwing Chrome Excel. So it doesn't have as much of that natural shine. As you can see, after I used Saphir on it and let it sit there and then buffed it out, it added a lot of shine to it and probably darkened the leather two or three shades. Now, for my Red Wing Iron Rangers, it's not, you know, it didn't ruin these boots, but this isn't really the look I want for my Red Wing Iron Rangers. I like them more matte. And so for that reason, I'll probably continue to use something like Venetian Shoe Cream because this really just helps saturate the leather, keeps it really moist, but it doesn't darken it very much. And it also doesn't add any of this waxy shine. So Saphir does have a, a good amount of wax in it. And that really starts to show through when you're using it on something that isn't Horween Chrome Excel, something that's more matte, that's gonna darken up a good amount. And actually, if you stick around to the last boot I have on my list, you're gonna see this even more pronounced. The third type of leather I tried it out on was a black Italian calfskin leather. This is a really tight grain leather. And I also wanted to see what Saphir did on black leather. So after looking at it again, 
This is another one of those where you can't really see the before and after this. It really, it, you know, it helped a lot in terms of restoring some of the shine, just making it look good as new again, that kind of thing. Uh, but again, the difference isn't huge. You know, I probably could have got the same thing with Venetian um, and I have treated these boots with Venetian before, but I think for, you know, black calfskin leather and something on a more dressier boot, kind of like a Chelsea boot, or in this case, a Jodhpur boot. Um, I really, really liked Saphir Renovator for this because of that extra shine. So whereas with the Red Wing Iron Ranger, that extra little bit of shine, that was kind of like a little bit off-putting uh, for something like a sleek black dress boot, that extra shine is what I want. And so it's a really good product for black calfskin leather. I wanted to test out Saphir on some really cheap boots. Now these boots are about like 40 or $50 or something like that. Uh, they're Franco 14, if you're curious. But uh, yeah, these are some old, old Chelsea boots that I have that I just wear out in the rain and stuff like that. And you can even see like I have some some stains on there that, that have been there forever. And you know, I again, wouldn't use Saphir Renovator on a really cheap pair of leather boots like this because these boots are like 40, 50 bucks and this was like 25 bucks. So you're just using a product that's half the price to restore you know, something that's not really worth restoring. But it's all in the name of fun, all in the name of science. And what I did notice is Saphir did a great job taking out some of the scuffs that are around the toe. It added, it changed it about two, three shades. Um, it didn't bring back some of the cracks in the leather as much as I wanted. Again, it's not a miracle product and it didn't do anything to help with these stains that are already in there. So it just kind of locked those in. Um, but other, overall, I think it did a good job. This leather is, you know, I don't know, just cheapest genuine leather you can find. Uh, but you know, I still think, you know, if you take a look at the before and after, it still did a pretty good job. And the last pair of boots here is the Oliver Cabell SB1. As you can see, the Saphir Renovator made a huge difference in the before and in the after. So this was the most shocking to me. These boots needed a little bit of love. They needed a little bit of conditioning. And normally I've been hitting them with the Venetian shoe bomb, or this is the Venetian leather bomb. I've been hitting it with that and it's done a good job, but this Saphir Renovator really kind of darkened it about four or five shades and added much more of a shine to these boots than they even had when they were brand new. So there's the most, you know, this is definitely almost looks like a different boot than when I first got it. And this full grain vegetable tan leather kind of looks to me almost like Four Wing Chrome Excel, like it has that same new shine to it. One of the things that drew me to this boot was that it had a really like beautiful, creamy vegetable tan leather look to it. So by treating it with Saphir Renovator, it really, it kind of diminished the thing that I love most about this boot. I'm not too worried about it. Like in two or three weeks, this is the shine's gonna go away. It's gonna go back to looking, you know, probably a little bit more like this, but it definitely changed it a lot. Would I recommend Saphir Renovator? Yes, absolutely, for whole ring Chrome XL or for any sort of black calfskin dressy boots, anything that you want a little bit more of a shine to, um, Saphir Renovator does the best job of any product that I've seen beyond a polish. And, you know, I don't really polish any of my boots because I don't want them to have too high, too high of a shine. I like it to still look natural, but you know, you do want some of that for, for classy occasions, you want a little bit more shine and Saphir Renovator is a great product for that. The downsides to Saphir is, you know, anything where you want a more matte appearance, like for these Oliver Cabell SB1s, or in this case, my Red Wing Iron Rangers. To me, it added too much shine to those. So it's a little bit, it's, it's quite a waxy product compared to Venetian Shoe Cream. Um, it's much waxier. So it's gonna add a lot of shine into the boots. And because it is mink oil based, it also is going to darken the leather two or three shades. So for these two boots, that was a little bit more than I wanted, um, but you know, had to try it out, had to see what it was like. If you're curious about how to use Saphir Renovator, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration right now. This is such an easy product to do. Already what I've done is I've wiped this boot down. Normally you should delace your boots, but I'm a little bit of a renegade and uh, I just, I'm not gonna do that right now. I don't always do that uh, when I treat my boots. It's the best way because it makes sure you can get under the laces and you're not coating your laces with anything wacky, but you know, who's got time for that? So I am just going to quite simply dab a little bit on my boots, rub it around, wait five minutes, and then buff it out. And that is all you need to do to apply Saphir Renovator. And that's it. 
That is how you use Saphir Renovator. It's as simple as that. Apply it, let it sit for five to 10 minutes, and then buff it out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button down below and also give me a thumbs up. Both things are super helpful and I really, really appreciate it. If you're interested in more boot care videos, head over to the channel, check out some of what we got, or you can click the video over there, see what's up next. So until next time, put your best boot forward.